Halloween! It's Katie Fix here. Sound familiar? Of course it does, because I've used the same joke as I did last year. Anyway, despite that, it is that time of year again, or perhaps it isn't, depends when you're watching this, but ultimately Halloween comes around once a year, and every year I like to give you a little Halloween inspired recipe, and this one is a gruesome hot dog Halloween fingers in a bloody bap situation. Let's get started with our tomato relish. So we're going to whack a pan onto the heat, I feel like, I feel witchy like with this spoon like I'm going to stir a cauldron. We're going to get a nice frying pan on some heat. Bring that up to a high medium heat and into that pan we're going to pop in just a teaspoon of olive oil. I'm going to add in half an onion. If you've got a small onion though, just use a small onion, but mine was a beast, so half an onion for me is going to go into the pan. Now what we want to do with this is to give it a little bit of colour but predominantly swoop, predominantly soften it. And into those onions as well, I've got here some gorgeous capers that I've just chopped down, a red chilli and some crushed garlic. So I've got about a teaspoon of chilli and capers and just one clove of crushed garlic. It's also going to go into the pan as well. Now already you can imagine you've got that gorgeous saltiness coming through from the capers. A little bit of sweetness there from your garlic and your onions. And then a lovely bit of heat from the chilli. So I'm just going to keep that stirring. And once your onions have softened, you are going to add in one tin of chopped tomatoes. Now this is really super simple and actually this gorgeous relish will last you up to a month. If you make sure that you pop it into a sterilised jar, it will work just the same as a gorgeous chutney. So it will last you for a nice long time. Reduce that gorgeous tomato sauciness into a really nice thick chutney like paste. Now it's not done at this point just yet. I am going to add a little bit of seasoning. So I'm going to add a pinch of salt in there, beautiful. And a nice pinch of white pepper as well. Ooh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Give that a stir and then we're going to leave that on a on a medium to low heat for 10 minutes just to start to evaporate all that moisture from the tomatoes so that it thickens up and creates the most intense gorgeous tomato relish taste. <laughs> Let's make those hot dogs. How do you make a hot dog Halloween inspired? You make it look like a chopped off finger, obviously. So here's our hot dogs. We will be cooking them as per packet instructions which is five minutes on a, on a gentle, non-boil, hot water boil. <laughs> Read the packet. I'm going to use three hot dogs to make six fingers because these are jumbo and I just already know there's going to be a Tumblr page dedicated to this. If you look at your finger, beneath the nail, you always have a little wrinkly bit I'm saying this in the hope everyone has slightly old lady hands like me. You get a slightly wrinkled bit uh, just underneath the nail and then obviously you've got the knuckle as well. And I mean, it depends how long your fingers are, but you can do this bit. So I'm going to imagine that that's my halfway point. So about halfway up, I've got a little knuckly bit. So I'm going to make an incision, a little incision, smaller one either side. So a long incision and then smaller either side. We'll do that on the same side. So longer incision smaller either side and then up at the top of the nails I'm just going to make two little incisions one two I know that it's not really looking like it's doing anything right now but that's why we prepare them at this point because when they go into the water they're going to burst slightly swell up and you'll start seeing all those ugly wrinkles going on the fingers it's great it's really great so our, our artistry to our hot dogs is currently done. For the time being, we're then going to add them to our hot water. And then we're just going to leave them to cook away for five minutes and then we'll put the whole shebang together. <laughs> so that is gloriously thick now. So we are going to just loosen it down for the final step of this gorgeous tomato relish. I've got here some red wine vinegar blood red. 
about four tablespoons. So that's got a massive tang to it, as you can imagine. So we're gonna balance out that beautiful tang with some sweetness from some sugar. We're gonna put in one heaped tablespoon. What that also does to that relish is give the most amazing sheen to it. It just looks jammy and inviting and absolutely delicious. I'm gonna also finish that off with a little bit of coriander, but you can finish it off with some parsley or whatever you fancy really. I'm actually just going to use the leaves of this, but don't chuck the stalks. You can always use them in loads of things. They always come in useful. If you're making a stew or... There we have it. So as you can see, the slits on the fingernails have, have opened up quite a lot. Um, on one of them, it opened up a little bit too much. But technically, you only have five fingers on a hand anyway, so meant to happen. <laughs> Take my sausage. I'm actually going to cut it in half as well, so that we've got our two fingers. And then all you're going to do is, because you've now got, because you've cooked them, the skin's that little bit looser. So you're just going to. Cut just above where you made your first incision and then you're going to go cut from the end and just literally slice off. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. So now you get the idea of it. I'm going to finish these off, serve it up and you can see the first resistance when it's done. Rogue finger. Oh my goodness, that is so much flavour and with those frankfurters, that is an absolute winner. I hope you like this recipe guys, have a very happy Halloween. I'm going to go and feed these to my trick-or-treaters. Anyway, until next time guys, bye! <laughs>